Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yeba. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm the Money to Honey Coach. My platform gives you everything you need about making more money and attracting your honey. So I talk about everything, relationship and love and dating. And I also talk about entrepreneurship and financial independence and financial freedom. If we haven't met, I'm a business and lifestyle coach. I'm a board certified pediatrician, a physician, entrepreneur, and serial entrepreneur. I also blog. My blog is on my website dryabo.com and it's called the peace place blog i'm also a motivational speaker which is why i have a youtube channel because i love to speak and inspire and motivate people especially women on everything about lifestyle and relationships and making money so today i'm coming on to discuss a topic that i get asked about all the time and it's like dr yabo how do you look so young how do you look like you're in your 30s some people even say i look like i'm in my 20s i don't know whether to believe that or not but i am 50 years old i'm not lying people say i lie about my age but you honestly i haven't met a woman who says they're older when they're really younger it's usually the opposite but i'm going to be 51 in april so i get asked that all the time and sometimes when i tell people that i have two daughters that are adults i guess i have a 17 year old and a 23 year old people don't believe me or they believe me and they're like oh you must have had them really young and i actually didn't have them young i mean if i'm 50 and i have a 17 year old do the math right i had her when i was 33 that's not young at all and then my first one is 23 and i'm 50 so i had her when i was 27 so I didn't have my kids when I was young. I believe I just take care of myself. So today I wanted to share 10 anti-aging tips that I believe have helped me. And I believe that if every woman tries to adapt, adopt all of them, or at least seven or eight out of them, you'll definitely age in reverse. Sometimes people tell me that I look like my daughter's uh, sister, and sometimes when they see a picture, they're like, you know, which one is it? I mean, I, I don't know whether to believe people or not, but that's why I have the thumbnail to this video as a picture with the three of us. And I'm like mom and daughters. So I know that the people who don't know me, who just see my YouTube video out there on YouTube will wonder that, you know, which one's the mom. I think it's quite easy to tell because both my daughters look more alike because they look more like their dad. But anyway... I wanted to share 10 anti-aging tips today, which I think you guys probably know most of them, but I figured if I put them all together in a video and you hear from me and I can tell you what, what I think about those tips, it will help you even more and convince you that they really do work. So, you know, it's not by chance that as some people say it's genetics. Yeah, there may be some genetics playing into it, but I honestly feel that genes don't add more than... 25% of the way we look and the way we also age honestly because some people are born with very good genes but like you know if they don't take care of themselves they start to drink they start to do drugs they can age terribly so obviously <coughs> today I'm not sharing the things not to do I'm sharing <coughs> the things that actually have worked for me so here we go so the things that have worked for me the number one thing believe it or not i believe is the state of your heart right this is also in the bible for the christians out there guard your heart for out of your heart comes the wealth the wellspring of life guard your heart you know whatever is in your heart is what's going to manifest out into your onto your skin and onto your body and your outward appearance i believe that in my 30s i actually looked older than i do now and that's because in my 30s life was happening that was when my marriage was rocky that was just before i got a divorce my kids were still relatively young i was just busy my practice was new there was just a lot going on so when i look at my pictures in my 30s now i'm like i actually looked a lot older then than i look now so guard your heart make sure you manage stress well make sure you have some kind of spiritual spirituality if you're a christian if you're a muslim just make sure you have that thing within you that makes you feel grounded you know you have to have some spirituality that makes you feel grounded when you read the bible 
all all of that right your spirituality your mental health and just the way you think about other people make sure you fill your heart with love and with forgiveness and just with empathy right you don't want to hold grudges you don't want to put leave uh, uh, um, sp fill your heart with hate and all of that make sure you love everybody you don't have to trust everyone like i say trust a few but love all people forgive all people and just have peace so for me that's the number one thing if you don't stress out too much and you love and you forgive and you just try to make sure that within your heart and within your soul you can find that peace by being very spiritual that's the number one thing and i know that that in itself is another big topic but i really wanted to say that first because you guys probably were thinking i was going to say eat your apples drink your water all of that but the first thing for anti-aging is actually the state of your heart make sure you examine everything every day the kind of thoughts you put into your mind make sure they're positive thoughts make sure you're thinking about god about spirituality about love about forgiveness fill your heart with things like that and empathy right that's number one number two is sleep i can't say this enough i cannot say it enough almost all my videos about healthy living I've talked about sleep, sleep, sleep. A lot of women age fast because they don't sleep well. You have to sleep well. You have to sleep at least eight hours. I know they say six or seven is ac acceptable, but I stick to eight. Eight hours of sleep is really important. If you don't want your face to be full of lines and wrinkles and you don't want to age fast, then make sure you get enough sleep. And if you can also get naps during the day, that's even better for you but if you don't want to look like you're 60 when you're 30 then you have to reorder your schedule and make sure that you go to bed at a godly hour and what's a godly hour 9 or 10 p.m because going to bed at 1 a.m or 2 a.m and expecting to sleep eight hours is not going to happen some of you stay up way too late so if you go to bed at 1 a.m or 2 a.m and you get up at 6 a.m You've had four hours of sleep. You're going to be tired. You're going to be groggy. You're going to end up eating foods that are not healthy because if you're tired, you tend to eat more carbs. So sleep, sleep, sleep is number two. Number three, obviously, exercise, right? You have to exercise. You have to move your body because the thing is with exercise, there's so many, many advantages. So many advantages. Exercise helps to reduce stress exercise helps to make you look more toned it helps to improve your cardiovascular health there's it even helps to improve your sleep so there's so many um, benefits of exercise a lot of us think exercise is just to lose weight and to be skinny actually not exercise has so many other benefits like reducing stress making you more toned making you sleep better and just helping to reduce inflammation in your body as a whole. So I'm not going to expand on all the forms of exercise you can do, but you guys know, I've talked about it all on so many videos, just putting on your walking shoes and walking every day for three to five miles every day. Even if you wanna start with one mile a day, that's fine. Start where you can and just build up from there. You don't have to have some fancy gym membership. You don't have to have some fancy equipment at home. Put your walking shoes on, comfortable shoes, and go and walk outside in nature or find a trail somewhere or walk up and down the steps in your home. But get up and exercise. Exercise is very important. I've been exercising on most days since my 20s. I don't joke about exercise. I take a lot of steps every day. As you guys have seen me post many times, I take between 8,000 to sometimes 12,000 steps a day, which that's about three to five, six miles every day. I do that. I walk every single day. And on top of that, I also take exercise classes with my fitness trainer, Erica, two to three times a week. So exercise is super, super important. That's really important. And then the, the third thing, let me see, we've discussed the state of your heart and spirituality. We've discussed sleep and exercise and then healthy eating. Again, 
I've talked about that in many, many videos, right? So you guys know, we don't need to spend too much time on that. You guys know the healthy foods, the foods that reduce inflammation, your fruits, your vegetables, your high fiber foods, eat lots of green leafy vegetables, your beans, don't forget beans. Beans are very good. Beans, lentils, pulses, nuts are actually really good for you. Nuts that have that are not salted and don't have sugar on them. You don't want to buy the salted and sugared nuts, just fresh nuts, almonds, walnuts, but be careful not to eat too many. You may just want to eat six almonds in a day because as much as nuts are good for us, they also have a lot of calories, but they do have good fats. So make sure the, all these other grains, there's um, a quinoa, and all the other healthy grains out there, flaxseed, chia, just all the healthy foods. You wanna reduce carbs and you want to reduce highly saturated fats as well. So watch what you're eating and reduce processed foods. If it comes in a bag, it's probably not as good for you. And then with vegetables, if you can't afford fresh vegetables, remember that frozen vegetables are also a really really good option for you so remember frozen veggies are really really good for you um and then the number so we've talked about one two three four the fourth thing is of course what we drink it's very important that you drink a lot of water and you drink a lot of green teas because green teas have a lot of antioxidants be careful about sodas please don't drink sodas at all. Sodas are really bad for you. Make sure you drink lots of water. At least 16 ounces a day of water is really, really important. And just water on its own. It doesn't have to be flavored water or water that has sugar or anything in it. Just train yourself to love water. You want to drink at least, did I say 16 ounces a day? No, 64 ounces a day. At least eight cups a day of water. Green tea is really good because of the antioxidants and because of all the other advantages it has for us. I prefer caffeine free or decaf green tea. So drink lots of water. Milk should be non fat. If you drink cow's milk, make sure that it's non fat skim milk. I only drink unsweetened almond tea. So make sure you're not drinking your calories. Drink water, water, water. You have to train yourself to drink water and throw out all the sodas and all the diet soda. And milk is okay as long as it's lean milk, as long as it's skim milk, right? Alcohol, be very careful. If you drink too much, it will age you as, as much as it's also bad for your liver. But red wine is really good for you. You can have a glass of red wine. I guess two times a week, the, the American Heart Association does say red wine is good enough. So you can drink red wine once or twice a week. Hi there. So yes, yeah, so we've talked about the first five tips that I know have really helped me with anti-aging. We've talked about spirituality, the state of your heart. Obviously into that, I want to add laughing a lot. Make sure that you do have a good sense of humor and you find a reason to smile and to laugh a lot and don't take life so seriously. That was number one. Number two was sleep. Number three was exercise every day. Some people say exercise only three times a week. I say include some form of movement and exercise into your daily living. All you have to do is have a pedometer on and make sure you're taking at least 8,000 steps every day. And it adds up really quickly. If you work a job where you're walking back and forth, by the time you get home, you may already have 8,000 steps. So make sure you wear a pedometer to help you keep track of that. And then we talked about the other two obvious things. The food you put into your body reflects on your skin. I eat a lot of blueberries. So here I'm gonna share with you the foods that I eat that I know really help me. Every single day I eat bananas, um, uh, bananas, apples, I love apples. I also love grapefruit juice. You guys have heard me say that, that I drink fresh grapefruit juice. We buy the fresh ones and we have a juicer and I just squeeze the, we squeeze the, uh, juice out and it also still has the pulp in it then every day I eat blueberries I love blueberries 
I'm not a big fan of strawberries. I will put them in my smoothie, but I can eat a bunch of blueberries all at once. I love them. I also eat avocados a few days a week. So I have a sweet tooth like I've shared before. I do eat chocolates and cookies and cake, but in moderation. I'm not going to eat a whole pack of cookies. I will have one cookie and I'm done. So you can enjoy treats, but in moderation. But I make sure that 80% of my diet is foods that are really good for me. And I eat, put a lot of green leafy vegetables into my smoothies kale spinach sometimes i even put arugula i love that peppery taste of arugula so remember that what you put into your body what you eat is going to reflect onto your skin right and then the last the fifth thing i talked about was water drink drinks drinks so water 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 green tea green drinks my green drink that i bought from dr okay i drink that every day so now moving on to the sixth thing I would say that spending time in nature is really important. I don't get to do it every single day, but on most days of the week, I try to get out. Even if it's just walking around in my neighborhood, I try to get out into nature, breathing in some fresh air, getting some vitamin D. You guys know how important vitamin D is to our health. So make sure that you are getting out into sunshine and getting some vitamin D. But getting out into nature is very healing, it's very relaxing, and I believe is a very good anti-aging tool. So don't be cooped up at home all the time or cooped up in your car or cooped up in your office all the time. Make sure you get some, you get out and you get some fresh air, you take some walks in nature or walks outdoors. Even if you live in a city, just make sure you try to get outside and breathe in some fresh air. It's very, very good for you. So if you're watching this video and you haven't been out in a while, some of us forget actually because we go from our cars to our garages to our homes and we go into our office and back. We forget to actually step outside and enjoy what God has created and just spend time in nature. If you have a park around you, make sure you get out and go to that park often and just get out and breathe in some fresh air and get some vitamin D. Then number seven is the way you dress matters. I've said this in some other videos, right? So again, this is a cultural thing. This is a preference thing, but I'm talking about me, what I do, because a lot of you ask me how I stay young. So I'm telling you what I do. The way that I dress, you guys have seen my dressing a lot and I've done videos. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what dressing and all that, but the clothes you choose, the way you dress also makes you either look younger or older, right? If you always wear baggy, boxy clothes, you're going to look older. But if that's your preference, that's your preference. But I prefer to wear clothes that show a little bit of my body. And this doesn't, it doesn't matter, like I've said, whether you're a size two or a size 22 but you don't want to wear baggy boxy clothes all the time there's a way you can dress that you can either at least show your waistline like i said in my last video so this dress i'm wearing is fitted around the waist and if you feel like you you're not comfortable about your waist you can wear an empire waist dress there are many dresses that are empire waist that at least will cling to you just below your bust line and then will flare out. Those are quite flattering as well. And then, like I told you, I try to wear dresses and skirts that are above the knee because that makes me feel more youthful. And if you don't like to expose your legs, you can wear it with pantyhose or, or with tights. So the way you dress also can age you or can make you look younger. Also, try not to wear clothes that are all with, all with fabrics that are stiff. The dress I'm wearing today, yes, does have quite thick and stiff fabric, but I have lots of dresses that have more flowy texture. So if you wear dresses all the time that are thick because you're trying to hide your body, that may age you sometimes, depending on what it looks like, right? So I have a lot of dresses that have fabric that moves. So fabric that moves make you look more, looks, makes you look more sultry and just more youthful. 
So um, if you're not really good at picking out clothes, you can also hire a, a, a stylist, right? There's many stylists out there now. If you want me to refer you to one, I do have a friend who's a stylist that I can refer you to. I don't use the services of a stylist. I shop my own clothes myself, but the way you dress can either age you or make you look more youthful. So you may want to pay attention to the way you're dressing if you want to look younger. Then number eight, is it number eight? Yes, your posture is very, very important. As we get older, we get less flexible. So make sure that the exercises you do every day incorporate some stretching into them right the, the the stiffer you look the older you're going to look so make sure you do yoga and you just can stretch practice touching your toes every day you know just make sure your body is supple and flexible and you have a really good posture when you're standing make sure you stand upright when you're walking make sure you have a good posture when you're sitting down make sure you don't slouch and when you're walking also don't walk like that make sure you have a nice confident upright gait, confident gait. so your posture is very important if you look at two women from the back right and one is 22 the other is 52 you can almost tell who's 52 aside from everything else just based on the way the 52 year old is dressed and the way her posture is so Pay attention to your posture because, yes, there are some genetic things that we can't avoid or some spinal or musculoskeletal things that we can't avoid. But a lot of women, as they get older, let go of their good posture and they start to slouch or they become less flexible because they're not stretching and this makes them look older. So posture, posture, posture. I'm very particular about my posture when I'm standing, when I'm sitting, I make sure that I have really good posture with my you know my neck long my my nose and my face looking forward even when i'm walking i make sure that my posture and my gait is good and i incorporate stretching every day it's really really important then the number nine thing that is really important again is sunscreen and this is for my black and brown sisters out there some of us don't believe in sunscreen because we feel because we have black skin we don't we have the melanin protection yes we do have some protection but it's not 100 percent. so i've been using sunscreen for years my eye cream and my face cream contain sunscreen even my makeup my foundation and my powder contain sunscreen so it's really really important to use sunscreen on your face and on your neck and obviously to use really good moisturizers so i'm going to make sure i link the video of my um not morning routine for my skin on this video so you can watch it afterwards but i moisturize my face and my neck twice a day in the morning and at night i pay attention to really using my serums and my moisturizers and my sunscreen every day and i know that i still owe you my nighttime skincare routine but it's quite similar to my morning routine so if you can watch my morning skincare routine after this that will help also and then the number 10 thing is this and you won't believe what this number 10 thing is can you guess what it is let's see if you can guess just post a comment now before i come on to tell you the 10th thing so just take a guess and see what you think it is and let's see who gets it right so start guessing and just post your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think this last thing is because it looks seems like i've discussed everything but there's one more thing that has helped me be able to look young and youthful so let's see if you can guess hi yes so i'm back to let you know what the 10th thing is let's see who got it right so that last thing the last tip that i would recommend that i know that has helped me is alone time being able to have some alone time every single day is really really important sometimes alone time to do nothing sometimes just to lay there and just to not do anything just to take a breath practice deep deep, deep breathing but having time on your own every single day not time that you just sit there and worry and stress out but time where you're alone where you're reading a book 
for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or one hour or you're journaling or you're just making plans of what you want to do the next day or the next week not a long time where you're stressing it could even be a long time where you're on your social media and you report you you're um, posting comments or you're replying to comments but just some alone time where you don't have the sensory stimulation of other people around you is really crucial i'm particular about my alone time i make sure that every day i have time just on my own where i'm not actually being sensitized or talking to anybody else but where i can really just focus into my thoughts it can be anywhere from 10 minutes to one hour but make sure you have that time where you're in a quiet place where you can read a book, you can journal, you can read your Bible, you can reply to comments on social media, you can maybe plan your day for the next day, just some time, because I feel like women especially, 24 seven, unless we're asleep, we have somebody around us talking to us, there's some kind of sensory stimulation from other people, and that could be stressful if you do that day in, day out. So if you always have your kids or friends or, your husband or your boyfriend or your mom or dad are always around you talking to you. That could be stressful. Find time to be alone doing something you love or even time alone just laying there doing nothing. And if you fall asleep and take a nap, even better for you. But alone time is really, really, really super crucial. People who spend alone time by themselves every day are actually known to be much more successful. They tend to be wealthier. They tend to be more creative. They tend to age better and they just tend to have more peace. So make sure you allot that time to yourself. So quickly, I'm going to go over everything again. The 10 anti-aging tips, spirituality and the state of your heart, sleep, exercise, healthy eating, healthy, healthful drinking, I guess, spending time in nature, the way you dress matters, your posture and your flexibility matters, sunscreen and moisturizers, and alone time. So if you can adapt all of these into your daily routine, I promise you, you will start to look a lot younger as well. So I hope this helped you guys that have asked me questions about how do you stay looking young. That is what this video is about. I know I have a similar video where I said how you can look 35 or 50. They are similar, but this is very different also because there are some things I say in this one that I didn't say in the other one. So if you put all those two videos together with my morning skincare routine, you sh i'm sure you will start to look younger and more youthful as well so i hope this video helped and i hope if you haven't subscribed to my channel you will hit the subscribe button now and thanks for watching i will see you with my next video love you all and god bless Bye bye